Welcome back with a new math tutorial. Our lesson is about writing the exponential function. How we can write the exponential function if we have some point belongs to the graph. So for question number one, we need to write the exponential function which is represented by this graph. We have three ordered here, 0 and 0 0.5, 2 and 2, 4 and 8. Step number one, we need to use the equation y equals a multiplied by b to the power x. And we use the first point, the point which contains 0. So we have 0 and 0 0.5. By substitution, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 0.5. So we have here, a multiplied by b to the power 0 is equal to 0 0.5. That's from the first point. Now by solving, a multiplied by 1 because b to the power 0 equals 1 equals 0 0.5. From that we can say that a is equal to 0 0.5. So we can rewrite the equation one more time. y is equals instead of a replaced with 0 0.5. 0 0.5 multiplied by b to the power x. Now that's the equation that we use. Use the second point. The second point which is 2 and 2. So instead of x replaced with 2, instead of y replaced, so it will be 0 0.5 multiplied by b to the power x which is 2 equals 2. Now by solving, because we have 0 0.5 by shifting to the other side, it's mean b to the power 2 equals 4. Then we can say that b is equal positive or negative the square root of 4, but only we need the positive value. It means b equals 2, because we'll take the square root. So now we find the value of b. So we can say that the function will be f of x is equals a, which is 0 0.5, times b, which is 2, to the power x. And that will be the function for this graph. In this problem, we need to write the function which is represented by this graph. At the first, I will start with f of x equals a multiplied by b to the power x. So we'll use the first point which contains 0 for x, 0 and 2. x now would be equal 0 and y equals 2. So a multiplied by b to the power 0 equals 2. b to the power 0 equals 1. From that we can say that a equals 2. And that's the first value for a. Now rewrite the function one more time. f of x equals 2 multiplied by b to the power x. Use the second point. 2 and 32. So it will be, and instead of x replace it with 2, and instead of y replace it with 32, by using the second equation. 2 multiplied by b to the power 2 equals 32. Now we have 2. You can divide by 2. It means b to the power 2 is equal to 16. From that we can say b is equals the square root of 16 equals 4. Because we need only the positive value. b must be greater than 0. The base must be positive value. So now we can say the function would be f of x equals a, which equals 2, multiplied by b, which is 4, raised to the power x. And that will be the function for the graph. Write an exponential function for the graph, which passing through the point 1 and 6, 3 and 24. At the first, I will start with the function. The function that we have, f of x equals a multiplied by b to the power x. We will use the first point, which is 1 and 6 x equals 1, y equals 6. So we can say a multiplied by b to the power 1 equals 6. That is the first equation. From the second point, at the point 3 and 24, if you don't have the order bit which show the y-intercept, so we need to form two equations. The first one by using the first point, the second by using the second point. Now 3 and 24. So instead of x replaced with 3, so it would be a multiplied by b to the power 3 is equal to 24. Now we know that b to the power 3 is equals b multiplied by b to the power 2. So it will be a times b times b to the power 2. And instead of b bar 3, replace it with b times b to the power 2. All of that is equals 24. From equation number 1, we know that a times b equals 6. So 6 b to the power 2 equals 24. Then we can say that b to the power 2 by dividing by 6 equals 4. By finding the square root, then b equals 2. Now we find the value of b. At the equation number 1, we said b equals 2. Then 2a equals 6. From that we can say that a is equal to 3. So now we can write the function. So we can say the function will be a which is 3 times 2 to the power x. Write an exponential equation for the graph which batting through the point 1 and 8, 4 and 512. Again, we'll use the function f of x 
is equals a times b to the power x. Step number one. At the point one and a, when x equals one, y is equals to. So a times b to the power one is equals a, and that will be equation number one. Now with the second point, four and five hundred twelve. It's mean when x equals four, y equals five hundred and twelve. So a times b to the power four equals five hundred and twelve. We know that b to the power four equals b times b to the power three. So it will be a times b times b to the power three. And instead of b, I will replace two with b times b to the power three. All of that is equals 512. From equation number one, we know a times b equals a. So eight b to the power three equals 512. Dividing by eight, it means b to the power three equals 64. By finding the cubic root, because b to the power 3 equals 64, then b equals the cubic root of 64, it means b equals 4. Now we find the value of b. So from b, we can find the value of a from equation number 1. And instead of b, replace it with 4. We said b equals 4. Then a times 4 equals 8. Dividing by 4, then a equals 2. After finding the value of a and b, we can find the value of the function. So the function now would be f of x equals a times b to the power x. And instead of a, replace it with 2. And instead of b, replace it with 4. So the function would be 2 times 4 to the power 